Welcome to the jungle, where you will aim to outspeed, outsmart, and outswindle your opponents to score the most points and be declared king or queen of the jungle in this rapid fire trading game. Here's how you play. To start, set aside the number of sets of animal cards you need for the number of players playing, and be sure to include the three armadillos of doom as well. Give out score reminder cards and return all unused cards to the box. Shuffle the cards and deal 8 to each player, putting the rest face down in the middle of the table as a draw stack. Play starts when the dealer says hustle. Everyone can now pick up and look at their cards. Now in jungle hustle there are no turns, everyone plays at the same time, so all players can now trade and play sets of cards whenever they want. Be prepared, things can get pretty hectic pretty fast. You can trade with any player at any time. You can only trade one card for one card, two cards for two cards, and so on. You cannot give away cards, and you cannot trade one card for multiple cards. You can ask for a particular animal, or simply any other card, but you can never ask for an armadillo of doom. When trading cards, they must be passed face down on the table, you cannot show them. Of course, this allows for some sneaky swapping, so you may need to be careful who you trust. <laughs> Cards can be played to score in sets of 3, 4 or 5. Sets of any other size are not allowed. The more cards there are in the set, the more points you'll score. When you're ready to play a set, simply place that set of cards face up in front of you. After playing your set, use the draw pile to top your hand back up to 8 cards. If there aren't enough cards to do that, just take as many as you can. And once the draw pile is empty, you can still play sets of animals, but you'll be unable to replenish your hand. Once you've played a set of animals, you cannot touch it. You cannot move cards from it, touch it. You can However, you can create a second separate set with newly collected cards of that animal. These are scored separately. While you can never add to your own sets, you can add cards to other players' sets if it has three or four cards in it. A set of five cards can't be added to though, that's full. However, beware, the other player will score points for this and not you. So only do this when you really want to get rid of cards, usually at the end of a round. Watch out for the armadillos of doom making their way around the table. Each one in your hand at the round's end will cost you 6 points, so do all you can to palm them off to your opponents. While you can't ask for an armadillo of doom when trading, if you do end up with all 3 in your hand, you can turn a negative into a positive by playing them as a set. A round is over as soon as one player has no cards left in their hand and the draw pile is empty. This player shouts STOP and everyone must immediately stop playing. No further cards can be traded or placed on the table. Time to score. Add up the total score of the sets that you have played on the table. The cards remaining in your hand do not score, except for the armadillos of doom. Each of these in your hand deducts 6 points from your score. Meanwhile, the player who finished first adds 8 points to their score for the round. Only one player can be declared the king or queen of the jungle. If playing a single round, it's the highest scoring player. If you're playing a longer game, add up your scores across rounds, and we suggest playing to 50 points. You check the rule sheet for a tiebreaker if it's needed, but you'll also find an optional rule for advanced players. But for now, you're ready to start, so have fun and enjoy the adventure. But take care, it's a jungle out there.